Maybe we'll just max it out one more time and be done with maxing it, since now we're, you know, swinging around our fun little hammer and all that. Oh, quick save. Oh, great. <laughs> I was a little excited because, hey, maybe we could kill that dragon and get the credit that we needed for killing the one at, like, Mount Anthor or Arathor or whatever it was called. Right there. But it has phased out of existence. The dragon? What can I say? It broke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Let's take care of this business, too. Get out of here, Yogi Bear. Whoa, I shot through Yogi Bear. There we go. You think that'll be a kill blast? Oh, no. I, I hit a poor goat in the distance as well. Oh, shit. Yogi Bear is back and moving really fast. Look at him wiggle. <laughs>《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》《》
Oh, you got spooky eyes. Are they also all bald? No way. Why are they all bald? Were they just copying, like, what was going on at the Sacellum? Whoever made this Creation Club junk? Is that what, what's going on? And they thought, well, well, fuck, they made them all bald. I, I guess I better do that too. I don't, I don't know if this is actually in the lore, but fuck, I gotta make them bald. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, there's something going on here. I knew it. Also bald. Let's see, can we sneak over and get out? Nope. Oops, sorry, Cosneck. There we are. Cultist's note. Oh. These mouth breathers don't stand a chance. Once I reclaim Goldbrand and slay them, along with our Lord's champion, Boethia will have no choice but to make me her new chosen one. I've seen it in my dreams, standing over the champion's lifeless body, clutching a gleaming golden katana turned red with the blood of my foes. We must puzzle out that Imperial Scholar's notes and breach the tomb. Then I will have my victory. Oh, okay. Ah, there is a bit of a puzzle, okay. Sure, etched tablet. Well, let's check this first. Actually, you know what? Let's read the etch tablet first. Forever my nemesis, Magrathi, high priest and slayer of my brother. His skull, the symbol of his betrayal. Place it here, away from his kinsmen, so that he may never find peace. Oh. I mean, that's not much of a puzzle. It just it tells you to put the skull there. Okay. I, Sievder, warrior and defender of dragons, lie and rest here. Yeah, what a jackass, honestly. <laughs> Why would you defend the dragons? If you ain't even in the dragon cult, you're going out here defending the dragons as they're fucking up like everybody else? Like, it's really bad. <laughs> what are you thinking? I mean, this isn't like a simple mistake. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you could just go outside and see the hell that they're, like, unleashing upon everybody. It's bad. <laughs> and you decide to defend them? Defend them from what? <laughs> they were on top for the longest time. <laughs> my amulet, the symbol of my valor. Place it here so that I may have proof of my deeds in Sovngarde. No way. Are you in Sovngarde? Did this asshole go to Sovngarde? I mean, I I guess I believe it, right? Because like going to Sovngarde doesn't really like it, it it isn't it's agnostic of seemingly whether you are well, I don't know if good and evil are something that takes into account. But like Generally speaking, even if you are kind of an asshole, right? Just as long as you die valiantly and honorably in battle, you end up in Sovngarde, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Over here. Which is why, like, if we had done the... The... What do you call it? Um... The main quest. After, now that we've done... The... Civil War and all of that. If we went there, Ulfric would 100% show up in, in Sovngarde because although, like, he was totally being led around by his nose, like, unwittingly, he really meant it, right? Like, at some level, he really was trying to do, like, the best for him, even if he was, like, <laughs> like, if things got fucking messy, right? I don't know. All right. Aranya's notes on Sievder's tomb. Read Aranya's note, research notes in the College of Winterhold Arcanum. Or Arcanum. Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright, well, let's do it. Seven, Sun's Height. I forgot what kind of voice I gave to this person, right? Aranya? I don't think I made her sound like Aranya from... Well, no, maybe I did. Fuck it. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fingers of the mountain. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I need to hear it again to get it back to, to understand, like, uh, elf woman from Oblivion, right? Because, you know, there, there weren't very many. Listen, if you haven't played Oblivion, we didn't have very many voice actors, all right? People joke about Skyrim not having many, but, I mean, you don't know how good you got it, kid. <laughs> good Lord, people, the, the new Elder Scrolls have come out. It'll have, like, twice as many, three times as many voice actors per, like, different character archetype as Skyrim did. And people will still be like, Psh, shit. <laughs> this still ain't enough. I'm not going to be satisfied until every individual character has their own unique voice actor and it costs half as much of the the entire half of the entire game's budget goes exclusively to voice acting. <laughs> All right. I have arrived. The entrance of Sivder's tomb remains impressively intact. I hope that the interior remains equally well preserved. That is, assuming Titus Mead, this third, the second, elected not to pillage the entire ruin over two decades ago, when Goldbrand was allegedly returned to Sivder's side. One can only hope he exercised restraint. It appears that the burial chamber is locked, using an ancient mechanical system. Oh, and only by placing the correct objects on the pedestals flanking the chamber's entrance will the path open. Fascinating. I must research where to find the relics required to open the chamber. I shall return when I have more answers. 23 Sun's Height. The inscriptions relate to two ancient relics. The first is Sivder's amulet inscribed with the symbols of his rank and other honorifics. The second is the skull of Sivder's betrayer and lifelong enemy, Magrathi, or Magrathi. Sivder, never having extracted revenge in his time, now calls out to us from the beyond to defile his enemy's resting place and place the skull near his sacred burial chamber as a sort of trophy morbid but not uncommon for the period. Now I go out in search of the relics that will lead to the opening of the tomb. I have left my notes where I conducted my research in the Arcanum in the College of Winterhold. If some ill fate were to befall me, perhaps another may continue the search. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Man. I wonder if there's any other Creation Club stuff back there. That would make sense as, like, a nexus of sorts for Creation Club leads anywhere in the college, but especially some of the more important places like the Arcanum, Arcanum. You know, Arcanum. <laughs> Steamworks and magic or whatever. <laughs> it's on our to-do list. Don't worry, it's on the to-do list. <laughs> All right. So here we need this proof, the amulet, and here we need the head, right? Hmm. So this may actually end up being kind of an involved quest. Fuck me, thank God. <laughs> Whew, thank goodness for me. <laughs> All right, let's head on up and out. There we are. Good, good, good. All right, let's also do a quick save just in case. What's our best course of action here? Should we just run through the fucking snow, dude? Like, should we just straight shot it from here to Winterhold? I think so. I think that's what we do. Is Metal Mabel out here anywhere? There's some kind of like frosty bear. No, okay. We're just gonna run for it, I think. All right, there we are. Good. Okay. Let's also stow our weapon. I still don't really... I don't think it has any impact on your travel speed or anything. When it's... Especially when you're just using one-handers. Damn, look at this, like, gigantic fucking frostbite spider just chilling out here. Okay. 
Oh my god, it's fucking me up. Am I like naked or what? It is just fucking me up. Holy shit. Okay. Damn, dude. Oh, I really sent the skiver flying, huh? Okay. Do I like not have my poison perk anymore under alchemy? Oh, I don't. Gotcha. Yeah, and our alchemy isn't fully maxed out as well. Fair enough. It'll be quite easy to max it out, though. Maybe we'll just max it out one more time and be done with maxing it, since now we're, you know, swinging around our fun little hammer and all that. Oh, quick save. Oh, great. <laughs> I was a little excited because, hey, maybe we could kill that dragon and get the credit that we needed for killing the one at, like, Mount Anthor or Arathor or whatever it was called. Right there. But it has phased out of existence. The dragon? What can I say? It broke. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Let's take care of this business, too. Get out here, Yogi Bear. Whoa, I shot through Yogi Bear. There we go. You think that'll be a kill blast? Oh, no. I hit a poor goat in the distance as well. Oh shit, Yogi Bear is back and moving really fast! Look at him wiggle! <laughs> Did you see him wiggling towards us? Oh my god, yo, fucking Yogi Bear was going buck wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone fucking set the animation speed to Tom and Jerry. What the fuck? <laughs> it's got that little, like, fucking cheesy cartoon like noise. <laughs> Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Whenever they're like running in spot in in place and like they're speeding up to go really fast after they charge up their run. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh fuck yeah! Let's take care of this as well. There we are. I think our gems are full. You know what? In fact, let's pop Azura's star in there. There we go. Get this frost troll. Oh shit! Who is this? Oh, it's a courier. Important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay. What have you got? Courier's letter. All right. Oh, sightless pit. How did it update our map? Huh. Yoink. Thank you. Oh, whoops. Hands to yourself. I still occasionally mess up with this new keyboard. I'm not, honestly, it makes me wonder if it was worth if I should have just gotten the exact same keyboard as before. <laughs> you know, maybe that's my advice to the world. If you ever gotta upgrade your keyboard and you're just not sure about it, or or better yet, if if you think you might be like an idiot like me, maybe just try and get the exact same. Hey, the dragon unbroke. Yeah, all right. Well, this is definitely one associated with the college and not... Not Mount... Antler or whatever. Let's clear skies real quick. We'll just do a tier one clear sky. Gosh. Okay, good. Should we, like, try and actually kill this one? Maybe. Because I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get out of here using this one anyhow. Let's get the dragon rend rolling. We can buff up our one-handed for whenever we go to town on it. Oh, fuck off. You're going to land over at the fucking college? Great. Okay, sure. Oh, my gosh. What an ass. There we are. Let's head on over here. Going up this way. Sorry. There's people are going fucking buck wild driving outside, by the way. I don't know if you can. If that got picked up. <laughs> fucking fast and furious out there. What the fuck? <laughs> I live in a pretty serene place. It's got me sick. Don't you usually get that? All right. Let's see. Oh, shit. 
Oh, dear God. Okay. I'm taking cover. Oh, great. It has a deceptively huge ass, like, sphere of influence. Okay, we'll wait for it to. Stop freaking out. Okay. Jesus. Maybe I should have just done bend will on it and forgot. Good. And that should make it land somewhere accessible. Which is probably going to be the fucking college, right? Okay. <laughs> there are places in the town that they could land. We've seen it happen before. They can do that. Alright. What's going up here? Ugh, you better not hit me through the fucking door! Okay. <laughs> I'm doing something! It's me! I'm the fool! I'm fighting! I'm doing something! I'm here to do something, baby! Hell yes! Here we go. Where is it at? Oh shit, okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh! Ooh, get back here! You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> Come on! Come on, man! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> All right, I don't know if we've ever had one of those happen. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Oh dear god. Of course, all these fucking people are just like appearing and reappearing and summoning all this bullshit. Oh no, I can't even get through! <laughs> I can't even get through! Oh my gosh. There's like five million space. dudes here. I can't even move anymore! <laughs> I can't even move. Okay, okay. Is that It is, it is! Please! Vincent Van Gogh, your store matronek is gigantic as shit! Oh, good lord. Isn't there, like, an alternate way up? There's, like, an alternate path, Certainly I think. A few of my colleagues okay, hang on. Quite as talented hang on. Like <laughs> this will work, right? This goes... Does this go topside? Or the low... Yes! Okay. Well, we're still a little too low. Maybe we can get it to land... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, don't shoot me with your purple blast! Fuck, it's going up there again. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so dumb. <laughs> okay. Alright. This time for sure. Look, we can make it. Alright. Ugh, sneaking past. There we are. Up and over. Great. Quick save in case we immediately get killed upon exiting. Okay. Good. Oh, look. More dragon bullshit up here. Alright. Good. Okay. Now's our time. Oh, Alright. What have I got for one-handed damage? Fortify one-handed? Fuck yes. 69% damage increase? Almost. Oh! Did I kill it or, or is it killing me? I'm killing it. Okay, good. Played it a little fast and loose there at the end. There we are. Look at everybody beating the shit out of it. Awesome. Cool. Well, Maybe dead now, but where did it come from? <sighs> what kind of magic is this? It's restoration, dude. Maybe, maybe you are in the perfect place to fucking learn. Unless you're talking about the dragon. In which case, you should go over to that mountain over that way. <laughs> okay. 
just immediately sign this dude up for like shitloads of septums worth of tuition or whatever. <laughs> okay, good. Should we take all these? Hell yeah. Alright, and let's throw them onto Koznak, our favorite drinking buddy. Oh, look, there's another one over yonder. Oh shit, and there is a Daedric Battleaxe up here. I'm actually gonna leave that. Okay, Koznak. I'm still here. Let's do a quick trade. Need to take? There we are. Great. Okay, love it. Lead on then. Okay, let's head on down. Hey, Feralda. It's really dead then. Yeah, it is. You got anything take for sale? Look. Cause I do. Let's see. Let's get rid of some of our jewelry here that we've been accumulating. Oh, fuck. You've only got four gold left. Okay. You know, I, I like taking hits on that, but I don't know about that much. Okay. Anything else cool here that you've got? Oh, yeah. Look, you got new shit that we haven't even learned. Cool. Are these some of the new ones? Oh, these are the new ones. Unbounded. Targets in melee range take 40 points of shock damage per second to health and half that to magicka. Random lightning strikes deal an additional 30. Okay. A freezing wind envelops the caster, knocking down nearby enemies and freezing them for 50 points of damage per second. Casts a stream of long-distance fireballs in an arc. Holy shit, some of these sound fucking cool. Some of these sound awesome! I'm buying them. It's Thank you. Oh wait, hang on. And Buy. All Whoa, hang on. Buy all my stupid shit, please. There we go. Good. Uh, let's see. What else? Gold diamond ring. Yeah, I don't need bow damage. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, definitely want to keep that. Ring of Recovery. Is that a unique one? That's, nah, yeah, it's on par with like, oh fuck, I don't know. Yeah, shit, I don't, I don't know. Let's get rid of the Recuperation one at least. There we go, thank you. Until next time. Okay. Let's actually try these out real quick. I want to see what they do. Lovely. All right, quick save. And then I'm particularly interested in the unbound ones. Let's see, Secret of Arcana as well. Good. And then, yeah, here we are. Oh, shit! Oh my god, it looks cool as hell! Wow, look at this! Oh, fuck yeah! It's a channeled spell, too? Wait, can I shoot them, like, up? Can I, like, do mortar fire, or do they... Do they ever arc back down? They have a slight arc. Oh, yeah, wow! Wow, 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 wow! Oh, they end before... Okay. Sure. Holy fuck! Ooh, hopefully that doesn't hit anyone. It's like the catapult situation all over. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. What else? What else did we get here? We got, like, lightning storm. It's probably not that cool. Let's see here. Quick save. There we go. Oh! Oh, shit! It's an ultra laser! Oh my gosh, it's some fucking Goku shit, huh? It's some Goku shit. I've... I gotta be honest with you, gentle viewer. I'm not a Dragon Ball person. I've never seen, like, a legit episode of Dragon Ball, except for one, one that, like, an elementary school friend of mine had it on <laughs> when I went to visit. <laughs> 
all of my knowledge of Dragon Ball Z comes from a podcast. Shout out to all systems, Goku. All right. Let's see. What else have we got? Hmm. Didn't we have another? Oh, fuck. I don't even... Unbounded Storms. Okay. What was the other one that we had gotten? Firestorm, right. 100 point fiery explosion centered on the caster. Okay. Oh shit, I feel like I gotta do this. Oh, sorry everybody. Holy fuck. I thought we had the perk for no friendly fire, but, uh, whoops. <laughs> okay. And then how about... Unbounded Freezing. Alright. Koznak, I'm gonna try it out on you. Don't get angry. Oh, it doesn't work. Huh? He's immune to that one. Okay. How's this even look? Wow, the knockdown radius is pretty big. Okay. This is the one that can knock down, right? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna fave that one. That sounds really fun. Anything that gives us more ragdoll effects. Unbounded storms. Targets in melee range take 40 points of shock damage per second. Okay, and random lightning strikes. Oh shit! No! <laughs> Oh my I'm god, no, Kaznak, hang on, come back! <laughs> hang on, are we good now? Are we good? My favorite drink. Alright, yeah, follow me. Not waste any time. Holy shit. I thought we had the perk that let us not like anger our friends. What was it called again? Companions Insight? Yeah. Your attack shouts and destruction spells do no damage to your followers when in combat. Wait. Is it only when I'm in combat? What does that mean? Okay, fine. Dude, the rate at which the extra lightning fired out was wild. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna fave that one too. <laughs> Maybe I just fave all the, all the wild ass unbound ones. Or unbounded. There we go. Why not? Cool. All right. Fuck. Let's go on down here. Good. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, thank you, Vincent. Okay. Head end down here into our fun library area, right? There we are. Good. Oh, here we are. Are any of these other books new? And important thanks to the Creation Club stuff that we've got now, thanks to Anniversary Edition. Oh uh, yeah, some of it. Well, okay, some of these do. The telekinesis arrows we've dealt with. Okay, look at this. Very inconspicuous over here. Any others that are a bit more inconspicuous too? Huh. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Alright. Well, let's read Aranya's research notes. Obtain Sievder's amulet from Lars Battleborn. Find Sievder's betrayer in Shroudhearth Barrow. Okay. Ten suns height, I have arrived at the College of Winterhold, who have generously allowed a fellow academic to make use of their vast library. A good thing, as even in the short ride from Sivder's respite north of Windhelm, I feel chilled down to my very bones. I now search for the means to gain entrance to Sivder's tomb, using the faint inscriptions found near the entrance. 
My objectives are to discover where Sivder's amulet might be found, as well as the, bur the, burial, <laughs> the burial site of Sivder's nemesis, Magrathi. I shall start with texts on ancient Nord heroes and work backwards from there. Thirteenth Sun's Height. No luck thus far. Discouraging, but I will not despair. The answers lie in these walls somewhere. Fourteenth Sun's Height. A breakthrough! <laughs> it has been recorded that Sivder's amulet has traditionally been passed down from father to son for generations. If my tracing of the lineages is correct, the current living descendants of Sivder are the Battleborns, a clan that resides in the city of Whiterun. If the wow, the Battleborns? That's wild. Their ancestor defended dragons? <laughs> Give him a thumbs down. <laughs> if this is true, then Sifter's amulet is likely possessed by the youngest Battleborn son, one Lars Battleborn. I must inquire with them. Nineteen sons' height. Details are sparse, but Magrathi appears to have once been an influential priest of the dragon cult. He seems to have slain Sifter's brother over rightful ownership of a silver mine. That's wild. So even the dragon cult didn't like Sivder. Despite that Sivder was a dragon defender? Dude, nobody liked this. Did the dragons even like Sivder? Maybe they were insulted as well, right? Maybe they were insulted of him defending them, you know, because... Shit, everybody knows Dragon's super prideful in, like, many works of fiction. Elder Scrolls is no exception. Anyway. He seems to have slain Sivder's brother over rightful ownership of a silver mine. He is said to have been laid to rest in Shroudhearth Barrow near Iverstead. Uh-oh, it's haunted. <laughs> no wonder you never went in there and found him. There was a spooky ghost there. <laughs> God, I hope that ends up being true. Like, we find a journal there. It's like, oh, I've arrived on scene, but I'm too scared to go in. Gotta cancel all of my expeditions. <laughs> this ghost is really scary. <laughs> I will now return to Sivder's respite, take some additional notes, and tr then travel east to more Windhelm, where a few good swords might be found that can help me with this treacherous undertaking. Oh, and that's the end. Okay. Well, let's go meet with uh, Lars. What the fuck? Oh! Oh my gosh! Wait, there, <laughs> there's a, you don't see your own friend. Wait, are you with me or with them? Who are you with? You're both not with me. Oh my gosh. No more. Ah. Holy fuck, yo! That was so wild! Oh my god, I love that! Thanks for the help, you bald asshole, by the way. Even Urog came over. And he's honestly got really important shit to do. Like, guarding the Elder Scroll! <laughs> Alright. You know, we joked about before, but for real, they just got in here, right? They just got in here. We don't have a way to detect them, right? Like, how did they get in the front door? We didn't have to get them for, like, an examination or whatever, right? Didn't, doesn't the auger protect us? Because <laughs> the door, you know, it's automatic. It only opens if you've, like, passed the test or whatever the fuck. All right. Maybe they already did. Ooh about that maybe they that were prior students in and then it all went wrong no matter what the guards <laughs> they decide to become bald <laughs> i'm bald for Boethia, baby <laughs> fuck yeah all right cool let's head on <laughs> bald for Boethia. <laughs> that's i like that i like that a lot <laughs> 
Okay, let's head on over here. Let's see. Man, this, the whole bald situation is is doing a number. It's really bringing Boethia up in my favorite uh, Daedra Princess now. <laughs> it's just very ridiculous. Okay, let's go for... Uh, I don't know. How about... I mean, we're going to have to run out of here anyway, because we're in fucking win Winterhold, like, the worst place of all time to leave. So we may as well make it, like, morning and then, like, clear skies. That way it's not super duper bad on our journey. Okay. Let us eat a cooked beef as well. Wonderful. Let's head on out. And then, like I said, we'll go to Whiterun. Right. We got a tract. Oh my gosh, look. We've editorialized a lot. I've discovered Aranya's research notes in the College of Winterhold Arcanum. Arcane, Arcaneum. In her notes, she detailed the means to open Sivder's respite, the tomb that the artifact Goldbrand is rumored to be within. I must obtain Sivder's amulet and the skull of Sivder's nemesis, Magrathi. The amulet has been passed down for generations in... The Battleborn family, a name I'm sure you know well, and is now possessed by Lars Battleborn. Magrathi was entombed within Shroudhearth Barrow, a Nordic ruin near Iverstead. I will need both relics to gain entrance to the tomb. Okay. Good. Hey, should we check in with someone else for, like, I'm sure you've items or whatever for sale? It's a pleasure like, do the other folks have good shit, pain. too? Until next time. Hang on, let's just do a quick check. Or, no, they would be at the snoozing zone, wouldn't they? Oh, fuck, which one would it be? Over here? We'll just check in with one other vendor. Because what's her butt? Feralda had all manner of, uh new items on offer okay and oh, to well. think mirabelle questioned my allowing you into the college i can just imagine yes try to smile on you friend what have you got for sale Take a look nope okay fair enough mm -hmm. there we are maybe there will be others right maybe just as we're going in and around here Every so often, if we see someone who might be a vendor lord, we should probably check in with them. Just to be safe. There we go. Good. Like this person. Enthir. So did Send you again, or are you here on your own? I've got coin, and I've got merchandise. Let's see what All right, yeah, you never actually did carry a lot, did you? Okay, fair enough. But... I can sell off some of my trash. Like, for example, these weird rings. I can't sell the ring. Oh, shit. I can. Let's definitely not do that. Dude, is the ring of recovery unique then? I'm buying it back. I'm scared now. I don't know. It doesn't look like a unique model or whatever. Right? It doesn't look like it would be special. But fuck if I know. Okay. Anything else I can dump off here? You want to take some weird poisons? Hell yeah. Please do. Alright. Get rid of some of these arrows. Do I have any other tomes? Oh, God. There we are. Yeah, we already know all these. Let's get rid of them. Cool. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Sure thing. But I won't. Let's clear skies as well. Oh, shit. Should have never used my speedy maneuver. Okay. What's our best course of action? Is it to go to Windhelm? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll head on over to Windhelm. You know, maybe we go the the other route that we just, like, sort of 
I hesitate to say discovered, but the, the route that we just recently went to get up here, you know, like along the river and coast, right? There we are. Is it clear now? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. And then... Yeah, so if we just kind of go straight through the snow plains, sort of, past this... Yeah, if we go past here, and then hug the mountain... We should be... Well, no, we... There'll be another, like, inlet in between the two rock formations. Okay. You know, the two rock formations. Or some people call them mountains. Hmm. Oh, are you with... Are you one of the I'm priests on a of a yeah. the shrine of Azura, oh, pilg the goddess of pilg twilight, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Sure. Continue over here. Good, good, good. Alright. Oh jeez. Alright. Oh god. Look at this. This cat is very angry at this goat. Oh, and has slain it. Poor goat. Alright. Oh. Some wild shit going on over there. Alright, well, good luck. <laughs> sure, yeah. Now, let's circle around this. And this'll be a little bit quicker, I think? Oh, no, wait. This is where we would normally go. Yeah. So instead... We'll go this way, and where there's the ore vein, we'll just climb up here. Right? Let's heal up, get some stand back, too. What the fuck are you saying, Kosnak? You want to stumble drunk into a cave, or are you saying you don't want to do that? <laughs> Frankly, either one sounds plausible for you to say. <laughs> okay. Or maybe he said that he already had done it. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, that reminds me. I didn't even write it down. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry I forgot. But someone wrote in saying that I should try healing other on Koznak. Because there's, like, apparently some sort of a fun dialogue line. Oh, shit. Look at these ice raves here. What the fuck? They're all over. Okay. There we go. Eat a butt. Jeez. Get out of here. Man, look at that little cross-through area. Bizarre. Okay. Yeah, so whenever we see Koznak, we need to heal. See what we get. Hey, here's Metal Mabel. <laughs> Excellent. Works out. Okay. And then if we just circle around here, we should be at... Windhelm. Yeah, there we go. Jesus, can we get like a fucking road set up here? Jeez. Civil War is over. We don't need this kind of a defense. Let's get like a fucking interior section access or whatever. Put a door up. Get a road. All that shit. Okay. Good. Alright. Lovely. Oh jeez, I think they've aggroed onto whatever that like bear or cat was. Huh? Nope, we're good now. Okay. Well, they're definitely showing up on the dude dar. Eh, fuck it. Let's head on out. There we go. Has Koznak manifested before us? No. I guess we'll have to wait until we like fast. Oh, there we are. Okay. Let's see. Heal other. Oh, I don't have it bound. Fair enough. To be fair, I don't really use it. Okay. Kosnak, let's hear what you guys say. Hey, my hangover is gone. <laughs> Alright. 
Sure, I like it. Okay. Man, we should try healing more people to just see what they say, right? We should just hear what they have to say. No? Okay. <laughs> Look, it was wishful thinking. How about you? Throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits, too. Yeah, throw those logs on there. <laughs> what happens if we heal the, like, like really fucked up racist dude out here? <laughs> He's just no longer racist or whatever. <laughs> we heal, like, we do healing on uh, the fucking, like, Silverblood family. They stop being, like, pieces of shit. <laughs> They turn over the city back to the Forsworn. We heal the Forsworn, and then, like, it's all chill. <laughs> we just fix everything with this. Man, if only Ulfric were back here, right? Aw, oh, shit, someone get, get me up close to the Thalmor. We, we should just start throwing healing spells out to him. They'll call this whole thing off. <laughs> They're like, you know what? We changed our mind about Talos. You know... Things have changed over this time. We we come to recognize it, you know. It ain't like how it used to be, you know. It's cool now. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'd like to hire your carriage. Let's go to White Run. Climbing back, and we'll be off. There we go. You ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Merit. Now, who the hell is Lars Battleborn? Man, I don't... He's not the guy who says a name I'm sure you know well, right? Oh, no! What happened? My bones ache for the moon sugar. It has been too long since I tasted it. Wait, you know that our supply I know how to fix this! It could be a season or more before we get a new shipment from the south. My ears hear the truth. I'm gonna wait for her to stop talking. And yet, my body shakes with the need. Oh, I got what you need right yourself. there. Do not frighten away our customers with your fits. Yes, of course, you are right. Still, I would give much for even a few grains of moon sugar. Put the thought out of your mind, and do not speak of it again. Man, Rasad's kind of a dickhead, I huh? I wonder if we should offer discounts to the soldiers. The soldiers? Jesus, I want to heal her and hear what she has to say, but everybody wants to talk to her. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. the war eventually. Why not curry favor now, so that the victor will look upon us kindly? <laughs> you have the foresight of a Khajiit in a sandstorm. If we offer a discount to both sides, the winners will persecute us for helping the losers. Hmm. I had not thought of it that way. Here we go. Fire is not a thing to be played with. This is not fire! Come on! The we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Blessings of the moon is behind us. bitter cold in this place. Air is so clear in Skyrim. One can see for it. I have traveled far across Tamriel to serve. A peaceful greeting Welcome. to you. The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? No! <laughs> Come on! I want them to say something cool. We'll have to try again. We'll have to, every time we go by, we need to try to remember to heal one of them up. Fuck me. Okay. Let's head on up and out. Good. Okay. There we are. And then... Should we go check on them in the middle of the fucking night? I don't know. It's 9 p.m. They may be locked up for the night, or they may be accepting visitors. Let's have a look. Oh, it's locked. Well, maybe I have access. I do not. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go over here and rest real quick, and then we'll check in with them, see what's up. Chow down a little salmon, too. Good. 
I'm assuming it's because of the Civil War and all that, which is why the Khajiit caravan there is missing its, like, actual lodgings. Okay. Let's go for 15 hours. There we are. Good. Okay. Go on inside of here. Jeez, it's still raining, huh? Let's fix that. Oh, wait. Our other marker is also outside the city now? Does Lars leave Whiterun? Oh, Lars goes to the farm to work. Huh. Okay, sure. We'll head on over and meet them. There we go. Good. Okay. And then, is this who we're looking for right here, or is it the other one? Yeah, I think it's the other marker. Okay, yeah, because that one's pointed at Iverstead. Okay. So, over here on the left. Good. And then... I really don't know who Lars is. I don't think it's the old dude, right? Huh. Are they one of the people that we did business with during the rescue mission? I don't think they were the person that we rescued, because wasn't that for the Grey Mains? Shit, I can't even remember now. Okay. Wait, so do you actually stay in here during the day? Huh. Oh, you're the child! Oh, God! You've got it! Right, of course, the youngest! Man, sometimes I forget that the Battleborn even have a kid. <laughs> right? Because, <laughs> you know, the other kid in Whiterun is certainly more renowned. You're not supposed to be in here! Oh, shit. You're not supposed to be Am in I here. supposed to pickpocket? Don't okay. Even think you're not supposed to be in here! Oh, fuck. Okay. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> I can't even pickpocket it. Hang on. Do you know something, Gwendolyn? Need something? Yeah, I need, like, a cool amulet. Shit. Okay, let's wait for two hours, see if that'll do anything. Can I go in now? I don't know. Hey. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> the fuck? How do we do it? <laughs> oh, do we just have to wait until like he's moving from one place to the other? Is that the only way? All right, fuck it. Oh shit, he's moved. That motherfucker is moved. He's in the town now. Shit. Over the course of an hour, he, like, sped run. He teleported. He popped the fucking Elm CV intervention to get inside. All right. Sure. We'll head on back up and in. Fuck it. There we are. Let's get our speedy thing equipped. Good. Woo! Oh. I thought that tier one would be able to get us over that. Not the case. Okay. Good. And then... Yeah, you know, look at the poor Khajiit caravan. What the fuck? It was especially oh. sad because it was okay. raining and storming when we first saw it. Jeez. It's like Imperial Rule or whatever has, has led to even worse treatment for them, despite the fact that it's still Balgriff. Okay. Maybe we should talk to Balgriff again after everything. Did we actually talk to him before? I don't know. Maybe next time. Spent a lot of time fucking around a bit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Alright. But hey, isn't that always the case with this fucking playthrough? <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, you don't get to like a 400 video long playthrough without a little bit of fucking around. Okay. There we go. God, I hope, I hope this is gonna work. It's no fun oh, getting pushed goodness. around all the time. Oh, that's, I'm so sorry. I heard your dad gave you a very old special amulet. Is that true? Uh, yeah. I need it. Would you give it to me? Go away. <laughs> Hand over the amulet or you won't like what comes next. I was going to use it to find a magic sword. Isn't that exciting? Would a few shiny septums change your mind? Ten gold. We gotta do what works on this kid. Look, if Braid, Braith, or Brythe, whatever her fucking name is, she gets results. Listen, she gets results. It's time for us to get a few fucking results too. Kid, you better give me the fucking amulet or you're not gonna fucking like what happens next. Don't hurt me. You win. <laughs> Oh, man. Place the amulet on the pedestal near Seifter's tomb. <laughs> That's wild that they give you the option. <laughs> All right. Man, this one ain't half bad. This Creation Club little uh, number, it ain't half bad with the, like, invisible assassins. Sure, it didn't completely make sense to me, right? In the moment and all that. Didn't completely make sense, but hey. Oh, man, look. As well. White Run. A little bit fucked up by everything that went down. Still some garbage. Can we even use this house? Oh shit, what even was this house? I don't know. Oh shit. Oh damn, this is where Nocturnal lived. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this was Nocturnal's house. <laughs> okay. I know there's actually quite a few mods and stuff where they end up, like, giving you an opportunity to fix it up or it just fixes it automatically. But I don't know. I kind of appreciate... Because I always put the Civil War arc off, I kind of appreciate it looking a little fucked up. The only part that I don't like is what happens with the Khajiit Caravan. <laughs> Alright. I don't even remember that from before when I had done the Civil War long, long ago. Anyway, should we investigate the amulet real quick before we call things for the time being? Oh, here it is. It's just a standard looking amulet, right? It's like a gold amulet or whatever, yeah. Okay, sure. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will check in with Jarl Balgriff, if I remember to, but I'm liable to forget. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. And whether or not that happens, we will head on out to get a skull. Until next time, please take care of each other.